So Brian, mm -hmm. we are talking about in this video we are going to talk about the cost of building a cob house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So first of all, what's a cob house? A cob house is a natural structure mm -hmm. which can be permanent mm -hmm. with a mix uh, built using a mix of soil, mm -hmm. sand, and hay mm -hmm. as the first layer of the wall. Mm -hmm. The hay makes the the other components really stick together and make it totally permanent. Mm -hmm. The second layer of the wall mm -hmm. is a mix of sand and kaupu. Uh, the traditional Maasai or many different tribes in Africa use kaupu to build mud houses and the smell of the kaupu goes away after a few days but it really helps keep the structure uh, together. And then the third layer of a cob house on the outside is limestone. Limestone with <laughs> sand and water. And the, the reason for the limestone is to, to protect the inner parts of the wall as best as possible from the elements. Mm -hmm. So there's no cement except for the foundation, mm -hmm. which is also optional. You can choose whether to make a, a cement foundation. We chose to do that because it's longer lasting and it protects the, the structure or the, the, the structural integrity of the cob a bit more and mm -hmm. keeps it away from uh, the elements like rain mm -hmm. but or water. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to build a, um, a cement foundation. Mm -hmm. We chose to. We chose it. Mm -hmm. So talk about the cost of building in terms of like what, transport, materials, labor. Yeah, so a cob house is totally dependent on the cost of your materials and the, I guess the cost of your, the transport of your materials. And what we tried to do was use as many local materials as possible and tried to use as many materials that we had on our land as possible. For example, as we were building the cob houses, they needed dirt. So we dug up the hole for the pit latrine style bathroom mm -hmm. and all that dirt that we excavated was put into the walls of the cob house. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have to buy dirt because we dug it up from our own land while building the bathroom. Uh, we chose to have the dry coconut leaves as the roof mm -hmm. because temper temper temperature control, they keep the room and the house much cooler during the day. And we think it's a much more authentic uh, style and type of material mm -hmm. but these were not local they were from Mombasa so for our for our cob houses mm -hmm. which there's pictures of them mm -hmm. and descriptions of them on our website uh, www.bomonoma.com mm -hmm. we basically had three teams for every cob house mm -hmm. we had the foundation team mm -hmm. and the cement rock team which did the foundation and uh, the cement work mm -hmm. we had the cob builders who did the walls they came from Nyahururu a okay. different part of Kenya mm -hmm. and then we had the roof team mm -hmm. which did the roof from Mombasa. Okay. The roof came from Mombasa. Mm -hmm. And the only people who knew how to put it on properly mm -hmm. are from Mombasa. Okay. So my job, mm -hmm. besides coming up with the design of the houses and things like that, mm -hmm. was working with each individual team mm -hmm. and making sure that nobody was idle because they were all staying here. They all come from far away. So the longer they stayed here, mm -hmm. the more money it would you cost see. us mm -hmm. exactly in their food mm -hmm. in their labor, all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. my job was to make sure that every team mm -hmm. had work that was going on and to supervise and schedule to make sure when when the foundation team is done with this house they go to this house at the same time mm -hmm. the cob builders start with the walls on this house mm -hmm. at the same time the people doing the roof are in this house once they're done they go to this house mm -hmm. just making sure that everything worked uh together okay. and that no one was was idle okay is makuti like uh, cheap or is it expensive makuti the the dried coconut palm leaves mm -hmm are cheap mm -hmm. but transport is not cheap oh, so it, they live in Nairobi. yes <laughs> because we had to transport them all the way from uh, Mombasa on the coast of Kenya mm -hmm. so it turned out to be more expensive than other options but just because of their their really good and qualities mm -hmm. we chose to, to stick with them okay but I mean you could make a cob house and you can make it with a metal iron sheet like the Mabati mm -hmm. uh, and and save money mm -hmm. you could you could save money in certain ways mm -hmm. if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have to pay more for transport then maybe maybe it's gonna cost more money mm -hmm. uh, it, it totally depends and and we have all the names and the the numbers of all the people the good people that we use to build Bomanoma mm -hmm. and anyone who's interested in building yeah. cob houses or cob structures, uh, if they were to talk to me or reach out directly to me, yes. then I could definitely advise them or, or tell them kind of the mistakes we made, the mistakes we mm -hmm. didn't make, or the good ideas we had, mm -hmm. or uh, and give them the names of and the contacts of... The challenges to expect. Exactly. Or, Basically the consultation. Yeah, there's no reason for someone who's going to build a cob house to make the same mistake that I made. Yeah, sure. Or that we made when we were building our cob houses. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the people who ended up building for us mm -hmm. 
were awesome. Mm. And I have their numbers, I have their contacts, I'm still very friendly with them, we talk a lot, mm -hmm. and they've gone off and built other houses mm -hmm. for people who had come to Bowman Home. They liked the, the design of the house, they liked the, the quality of the house, and they asked for the number of the, the expert who built that house, yes. and then we connect them, and then that person goes off and builds uh, someone else's house. How can they reach out to you? They can reach out to me at bomanoma.com, mm -hmm. www.bomanoma.com. Mm -hmm. Our email is there, our WhatsApp is there, everything, all contact information is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, how about the government you know, regulation mm -hmm. with Cobb House? Talk about that. Uh, we are totally 100% compliant with all the different, the different government agencies that, that, that exist in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's the KRA, mm -hmm. there's NSSF, there's mm -hmm. NHIF, mm -hmm. there is NEMA, mm -hmm. there is the Narrow County government, there's mm -hmm. the national government, mm -hmm. uh, but we're totally compliant with all of them. And yeah, we, we, we are on, on very good terms with, with the government. As long as you're compliant, okay. I think uh, they have no problem. As mm -hmm. long as you're honest, they mm -hmm. have no problem. Mm -hmm. the, the, the bad thing to do is to try and hide or not pay or... or yeah or have some type of um, funny business going on. So for a beginner who wants to build a cob house, where should they start? Um, if someone wanted to start building a cob house, I'm sure there's a ton of online resources. Mm -hmm. When we were building Bomanoma, it all came from Selena and my brains, mm. the design, the layout, but it was really good to have experts here that we bounced ideas off of. So yeah. I would give them ideas, mm. they would give me ideas, sometimes I would say no, sometimes I would say yes, but they always felt free to be able to uh, express their opinions or, or suggestions if they had a, a, an idea they thought was better than mine. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I let them do what they're experts in. So, so. They could tell me, Brian, mix this cement. Brian, go carry these rocks. Mm -hmm. But I let them do the actual skilled labor that they are skilled in doing, mm -hmm. meaning mixing the correct portions of sand to, 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 to soil, to hay, and, and really building the cob. Another great example is our, is our tower, mm -hmm. which has the honeymoon suite and the scenic viewpoint at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, above the honeymoon suite and below the scenic viewpoint, there's a 5,000 liter water tank, which because it's high up, once it's full, we can use gravity to bring water all over Bomaroma mm -hmm. at some point in the future. That's the, the reason that water tank is elevated. Mm -hmm. But a 5,000 liter water tank is very heavy. Yeah. So I don't know how to build a structure that's going to be structurally sound to hold all of that weight. Mm -hmm. Again, we hired experts. Mm -hmm. My ideas, mm -hmm. but the expert is the one who actually did it. Mm -hmm. And even, even that tower, it was never the idea to have the honeymoon suite and the scenic viewpoint. It was just going to be a normal water tower with a, with a tank mm -hmm. and then covered from the sun by maybe a metal iron roof. But I was looking at it as we were building. I said, we have all the space below the tower. Mm -hmm. We have a space above the tower. If we're going to build it, why not utilize that space? So then we created the honeymoon suite, which has been one of our most popular rooms. Mm -hmm. And then we have the top of the, the tower, which is the scenic viewpoint, which is another highlight of anyone who comes to visit Bomanoma. They absolutely love it. Okay. So things kind of took a, a life of their own. Mm -hmm. And we made many mistakes as we were building too. Mm -hmm. It's just that those mistakes you don't see. Yep. For every one good idea, maybe there are three bad ideas, but we mm -hmm. fixed the bad ideas. Yeah. One example is the paths. As you can see, we have a stone called Maseras, which is a very flat stone mm -hmm. uh, that is found in the Maasai Mar or around Maasai Mar, so it's a local material, mm -hmm. and it's great for pathways. Yeah. So when we started building paths, I started building paths where I thought paths should be. Yeah. Turns out people don't care where they think paths should be, they're going to create their own paths. Mm -hmm. I quickly learned that to build a, a, an actual path, mm -hmm. I should wait for people to create their own paths mm -hmm. and then build a path on top of where people have already created a path. <laughs> so you look where the grass has been stomped down, yeah. people use that same path and then we went over that and built actual paths. Mm -hmm. So I learned very quickly, yeah. even if I try and build a path where I think it should be, okay. people decide where that path is going to be. You're talking of Honeymoon swim. Mm -hmm. Is it swim or swim? Sweet, sweet. Sweet. Yep. S U I T E, sweet. sweet. Honeymoon sweet. Honeymoon yeah. sweet. What is it about? It's a it's a private room. Mm -hmm. It's a room. It's an accommodation that we offer. Mm -hmm. 
but it's a private room, mm -hmm. which is a bit separate from everything else. Mm -hmm. So perfect for honeymooners. It's like the mo it's the most romantic room that we have. Mm -hmm. Perfect for for a single person too, just a single person to to spend the night in there nights. Mm -hmm. But it's really great for couples mm -hmm. because it's a bit more private mm -hmm. and it's elevated, so you get a really good view of Bomonoma, but close enough that you have access to all the amenities and you're still within our little kind of living eco village. Um, when when we were building this back to the building it's very it's not easy to build it's hard to build mm -hmm. uh but anyone can build if they have the resources yes, sir. what you can't build is a vibe an energy yeah. and when people walk into bomonoma they feel at home and that's the kind of the energy that we wanted and people people totally feel that mm -hmm. i get that feedback all the time i feel it too yeah and that's that's what we wanted and that you can't build it has to come organically mm -hmm. and it comes from my energies and our staff's energies and yeah. and the layout of of the structure and just everything yes, um but we've really tried to build an eco lodge that can cultivate the right type of energy and the right type of vibe mm -hmm. and so far we've succeeded so for those who are having wedding mm -hmm. in kenya they should consider absolutely normal for honeymoon absolutely we've had a lot of honeymooners come even not even from kenya yeah. people who get married uh anywhere in the world and then have a honeymoon in kenya on safari mm -hmm. we've had many of them stop at bomonoma oh. and they take the honeymoon suite they go on safari and yeah yeah mm, what advice do you have for you know people who want to build cob house well my advice would be because i've, I've built orphanages and i've, I've you know obviously bomonoma so i've built a decent amount in kenya mm -hmm. and i've always learned that in Kenya, as I'm sure, and probably most everywhere, cheap turns out to be expensive and labor intensive. Yeah. Meaning that if you try and take a shortcut and do it in a cheaper way, mm -hmm. then eventually you're either going to have to keep fixing it and keep fixing it, which will be more expensive. Mm -hmm. And it's much more work to maintain it. Mm -hmm. It's better to make the investment one time and do it correctly, yeah. whether that means cre uh, building the correct foundation whether that means bringing in the right materials, mm -hmm. whatever it means. But it's better to do it once the right way. Yeah. Because if you don't, it'll take up a lot of your time and a lot of money to constantly fix it. So everything we've built here yeah. was built knowing that we wanted it to be durable. Yeah. We have a tiki bar, so there are drunk people. Mm -hmm. Drunk people bang into things. Mm -hmm. um, we couldn't have anything that was was would fall down. We mm -hmm. had to have permanent structures and we had to take no shortcuts. And I would suggest anyone thinking about building a cob house to do the same thing because mm -hmm. it makes it easier in the long term. Okay. The duration of building it? The duration of building it totally depends on how many people are building it, mm -hmm. how big is the team building it, mm -hmm. what materials are, you're using. Mm -hmm. But once you have all the materials and you have the right people, it goes very quickly. Okay. It goes very quickly. Do you have cob house in the US? I'm sure there are. I've, yeah, absolutely. Oh, in, in, mm -hmm. uh, in the farm. And, and I'm sure online, Mm -hmm. There's thousands, millions of pictures of, of cob houses. Mm -hmm. Big cob houses, small cob houses, mm -hmm. two story, three story cob houses. Mm -hmm. Ours are quite simple. Mm -hmm. But we wanted a, a very comfortable, clean, African style vibe. And cob was the best material to get that point across. Whether it be because of the look, whether it be because of the <coughs> the environmental sustainability of it whether it be because it keeps the temperature much cooler during the day and warm at night there are so many benefits to it mm -hmm. that once we looked into cob it would have been it would have been foolish of us not to build with cob okay so for people who want to learn more of cob house they mm -hmm. should visit bomanoma bomanoma.com it has information about cob houses it has pictures of all of our mm -hmm. different accommodations and it has my contact mm -hmm. and selena's contact information so they've had if they had any questions they could That's shoot me a message and yeah and, and and maybe visit and absolutely visit and spend their days here absolutely visit <laughs> cob yeah. house a permanent house. oh it's completely permanent mm -hmm. How long? completely permanent the only thing that a cob house would take a cob house down mm -hmm. is water uh erosion rain, rain i mean i rain not as much i'm talking about water that would sit if it rained a lot and the, there were puddles at the bottom of the cob house on the okay. outside mm -hmm. that were touching the cob, because cob is essentially soil mm -hmm. mixed with a few other things. Okay. If there is stand, standing water at the bottom of the, the cob, mm -hmm. it will erode 
the cob mm. much faster. Okay. That is why we chose to have a cement foundation mm -hmm. and one layer of rocks, yeah. natural rocks from this area, okay. uh, to protect the cob material itself from any standing water. Mm -hmm. But cob houses, when done correctly, will last hundreds of years. They're just as permanent as any other type of house. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we took no shortcuts. So we did it the correct way. And I fully anticipate uh, our cob houses to, to outlive me. Can you build a flat house using, using like a cob house for commercial, like a flat? Yes, you can. <laughs> you can. You can. You can. You have to have someone who's skilled in cob and knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But yes, you can. Okay. You absolutely can. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching Miss Rachel YouTube channel. And Karibu Sana Bomonoma. Welcome to Bomonoma. Uh, www.bomonoma.com for all the information you need and reach out with any questions. Hope to see you here soon.